Hi and welcome back. Um, here I have before me a 1985 Chevy Monte Carlo Super Sport. It's not the real thing, but it's as close as you can get, especially when it comes to green light when they do spectacular pieces like this. They've done really, really well with this piece. Um, it's just awesome. The amount of detail on it is very, very accurate. Headlights, pinstripe, it's got the whole nine yards. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Monte Carlos, I guess, out of most of the Monte Carlos made. The fact the way it resembles a 70s model, not quite, but pretty close. Here you see on the card art itself, that's an old uh, commercial thing they had going on. Um, they were known as the Heartbeat. It's an EKG monitor. Uh, you have flat lines. So let them know you're still living. And here we have a 1984 uh, Chevy uh, Monte Carlo Super Sport. This is from their uh, Black Bandit series. They do a series where they uh, make all their vehicles kind of uh, blacked out. But nonetheless, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here for the angle. There you go. Um, you can see the pinstripe on it, though still white so it's not totally blacked out but nonetheless looks sharp I'm gonna just cover a, a few uh, models of the Monte Carlo Super Sport that they've done from this year because I feel this is one of the better years here is a uh, this is called the first cut this is a 1984 Monte Carlo and uh, Super Sport also this is their uh, one is raw like no metal no detail no nothing it's just showing you the one for one um, ratio if you don't know what one for one is is um, basically real life and if this was a real life vehicle they're showing you the amount of detail that went into it on such a small scale so it's basically blank metal and here's where they're telling you all that one for one stuff and um, <clears throat> this is more for people that enjoy the the contours of the tooling. Tooling is where they uh, cut the metal to get the the representation of the actual vehicle. But you can see the score off to the right. It's the picture. It shows you like the graph of how the tooling follows when the vehicle is created. It's a really really good cut. Um, these are low mintage. The uh, the first cut, the all bare metal. These are actually chase vehicles on some, uh, not some, but quite a few uh, model die cast cars. Um, they're low mintage, that's why. But a little tidbit, it's uh, screwed down to the base. The base is uh, where the vehicles actually sit is leather. They've done really, really well with this. It's encased. I'm just getting around to opening it. Um, I collect models based on cars that I grew up with around my era that were popular. And this, nonetheless, was very popular. Yeah, some of the more uh, 90-ish, 2000-ish super sports uh, like you'd see in NASCAR with the funky-looking rear turn signals and taillights. I didn't care for it too much. This one still kept the 70s Monte Carlo taillight look to it. With the logo going on in the middle, I'm going to try to rip this up out of the acrylic case and get a little closer look. It still kept close to the 70s look, but with an 80s twist on it. This, however, is a luxury car. The Monte Carlo is more like a big luxury car, but slash super sport Chevy turned it into a luxury muscle car nonetheless. In 1984, this came in a white and blue metallic which was pretty much the only offering they were giving. It had a high output motor. This thing was packing about 180 horsepower, somewhere in there. And all this stuff is off the top of my head, guys. I'm not a Google nerd, but I am very familiar with cars since that is kind of what I do in real life. But um, this is packing some horsepower nonetheless. And you got plenty of leg room when you're riding up front. It's, it's a very nice vehicle. I'm going to try to get this off the base here real quick so we can get a closer look. 
White and black are my chase, meaning they're my preference in vehicles. I feel like a lot of vehicles look really good in black and some in white. <clears throat> and uh, nonetheless, this Super Sport looks awesome. And <clears throat> I tend to collect movie cars, TV cars, and real life vehicles, you know, real life cars that <clears throat> I seen growing up that were very popular. And nonetheless, this is one, the Marauder. Mercury Marauders, another, the Ford Crown Vic, of course, because of the police. There's just so many, but I, I like this right here. I'm not huge on chase pieces, but you can just see where the tooling beat, beat up the the trunk on this. You just see the, the markings. Of course, the paint and stuff will cover that when they do it, but it's pretty bare metal as it gets there. Very nice looking rendition. As you can see the detail on the motor is there. They just haven't finalized it. Like well, you know, painting in the chrome and some of the more uh, things to separate the detail. But it's all there. Looks really sharp. I myself am not an artiste. I don't see myself being able to uh, do anything super spectacular with this. So probably more than likely going to leave it like it is. And here, this is just, look at that. See how they painted the detail on that? You can see it. There we go. But they've done really well with this. This is what the 1984 um, Monte Carlo Super Sport looks like. This was the very popular choice, the white on blue metallic. It's just uh, pinstriping. Came in two colors. But pretty awesome, side by side. Looking pretty sharp. I noticed some um, differences. The wheel, the wheels on the painted one are chrome, non painted. They're not chrome. They're just like a jet black. I'll show you here in a little while. They're, uh, this bare metal is more similar to the black bandit. It's kind of the reason I whooped it out. This is giving them a lot of options on which way to go with this car. There's not very many differences between the 85 and the 84 outside the color scheme, but nonetheless, super awesome. I'll explain what I mean by the color scheme in a little bit, but they've done really well with this. I really like it. Looks really good. If they made a 90s or a 2000, I don't think I'd add that to my collection. I just don't care for that uh, perforated rear tail light that they did in a elongated uh, bubble style it's just bizarre looking to me and that aerodynamic uh, forward leaning swoosh deal they got going on on that newer model I didn't care for either this one this one is like a, like I say it's pretty close to the 70s of course the 80s is close to the 70s but nonetheless they still stuck to the the mean look it's got that luxurious mean look going on kind of like the the regal the buick regal when they turned it into the buick grand national this is kind of what this reminds me of <clears throat> reminds me of a grand national done like this or this is kind of like reminds me of the grand national nonetheless high output motors sporty look in a luxury car nonetheless a look at that tooling again it's really really beat up and the fin on the trunk it looks a little separated and it's black it looks like a totally different material but there you go take another look under the hood yeah you see it's not painted guys but I just can't get over that white one looks really good see no paint no nothing still looks good still looks sharp I'm wondering if I should fiddle with it but I, I don't think so unless I started airbrushing or something there's a lot of detail that goes into this and I think the hardest part would be uh, trying to clone that uh, Monte Carlo emblem on the hood as you can see big separation in detail there both of them are outstanding though, on the side by side. 
zoom in on them a little bit and there you go now moving forward let's look at the 1985 the 1985 Chevy uh, Monte Carlo Super Sport was a rear wheel drive luxury car it came in a high output V8 um, came only with a four speed automatic transmission previously offered only in white and dark metallic blue color the choice in 85 had expanded including silver maroon and black and it came with removable glass roof panels which are known as t-tops like famously seen on the wow look at that I'm looking at the detail here on the tires. The typeset is different. Same brand, same everything, just different typeset. But back to what I was saying, oh yeah, the T-tops, uh, if you're not sure what they are, you see them a lot on the uh, Smokey and the Bandit, if you're familiar with that movie. But they were very popular on the Trans Am as Winch, where I feel they belong. I don't really feel they belong on this. These are hard tops. I think they look the best uh, in a hard top model the oh yeah the Monte Carlo Super Sport from 85 to 84 the 85 model seen an increase in sales in 84 it sold 24,050 and in 1985 it sold 35,484 I don't know if the uh, fact that it came in different colors and it offered a wider range of colors had anything to do with that perhaps possibly but nonetheless, I think the black on red looks sharp. Even the maroon one looks really nice. And I'm going to get this in the shot, let y'all take a look at the motors and stuff. I'm going to show you right here. I think they just made this uh, casting very versatile. This is the uh, 84 from the Black Bandit series where it's all blacked out. See the rims, the wheels, black, identical to these black tires whole nine yards identical just throw a little paint some pinstriping the logo and voila presto magic good to go see all that uh, carved in detail tooled in detail i think this tooling is really good i think uh green lights done exceptionally well with this johnny lightning also makes a, a really good um chevy monte carlo but nonetheless it's just uh, reminiscent on the infamous 1984 to 1985 Chevy Monte Carlo Super Sport. And I think Greenlight has offered a wonderful addition to this uh, collection I got going on here. And I think it'll offer up a wonderful addition to any collector's collection. And that's the video. I'm Majestic Rides. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll think i'll cover some green light or maybe even uh some auto world up next but like with all of these makers they have things they're good at they have things they're flawed at i may cover that in another video but thanks for stopping by guys and uh, that's the show